so today we are here uh, for uh, jest 2022 so this is a counseling session on joint entrance screen test how you will apply and uh, what are the important dates the fee and so on correct so let me start so the contents uh, of this presentation are introduction about jest 2022 eligibility criteria upper age limit and uh, application procedure application fee important dates syllabus of the test then what we will offer to all of you in just 2022 so that is revision and qip so i will discuss one by one so first slide says about the introduction about just 2022 so just 2022 examination is scheduled to be held on sunday march 13th 2022 so now online application and registration portal is open the last date for submission of online application and payment of application fee is Jan 18, 2022. So applicants seeking admission for PhD or integrated PhD program in physics or theoretical computer science or neuroscience or computational biology in one of the participating institute may appear for JS 2022 at one of the exam centers. So most of you are over here, I think, uh, PhD or integrated PhD in physics. So we will be showing more detail in physics only. The Science and Engineering Research Board, SERB, statutory body established through an act of parliament recognizes JEST as a national eligibility test in their office memo, wide OM number SBS 9Z01-2015. So fellows working in SERB programs and qualified in NET are eligible to get enhanced fellowship. So this was the brief introduction about just 2022. Then participating institutes have their own eligibility criteria for admission in PhD or integrated PhD program. Applicants who are expecting to complete their final examination of their ongoing course by August 2022 are also eligible to appear for the JEST 2022. So those students whose result will be coming in by, or by August 2022 are eligible for this exam. So applicants must register online. I will tell you where you have to register and how you have to apply through the application portal and pay an examination fee to appear for JEST 2022. So this time, Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research, Kolkata, IISER, is the organizing institute, institution for JEST 2022. So the organizers for JEST 2022 may be reached at, at this mail ID. So if somebody is facing any problem after filling the form or somebody wants to correct some information, because I got one uh, query, he has filled his date of birth wrong date of birth so you can reach over this mail id so what is the eligibility criteria so in phd program physics so basic eligibility is msc in physics so all participating institutes are asking msc in physics so additionally some institutes accept b btech msc me mtech in disciplines of light physics and mathematics as listed over here so MSc in Mathematics, Applied Physics, Applied Mathematics, Optics and Photonics, Instrumentation, Electronics will also be considered at IIA. So these are some institutes. These are participating institutes. I will show you their details in the coming slides. B or BTEC will be considered at ISC, IMSC, IC, TS, TIFR, IUCAA, JNCASR, NCRA, TIFR, TIFR, TCIS, RRI, IISER, Mohali, IISER, Pune, IISER, Trivandrum. So different institutes have different eligibility, but most of them are asking MSc in Physics. So MSc in Physics, Electronics, Astronomy, Applied Mathematics will be considered at IUCA and NCRA, TIFR. MSc in Physics, Engineering Physics, or Applied Physics will also be considered, considered at IPR. MSc in Physics, Chemistry, Applied Mathematics, Biophysics, or Biochemistry will be considered at S and B and CBS. 
BTEC engineering physics will be considered at TIFR and NCR at TIFR. MEM Tech in Applied Physics will be considered at NISER, MSc in Astronomy, Optics, Photonics, Biophysics are also be considered at RRI, MSc in Physics, Chemistry and Biophysics will be considered at SNB and CBS. So basically, if you are interested in PhD program, so MSc in Physics is the main subject for taking the admission. Then if you are interested in integrated MSc slash MTech PhD program, Again, in physics, so you should be BSc in physics, major or honors, or in physics or math and mathematics. Physics cannot be in allied or subsidiary minor subject, will be considered at SNBN CBS. BSc physics will be considered at IMSc. BSc physics, mathematics, B, B tech in electrical instrumentation, engineering physics, electronics and communication, computer science and engineering, optics and photonics will be considered in IIA. BSc Physics or B, B Tech in Engineering Physics with a minimum of first class marks will be considered at NISER. BSc Physics will be considered at IISER Pune, ICTS, TIFR. So there are around 23 participating institutes which are giving you admission offer through this jest. NCRA, TIFR, NTIFR, TCIS. BSc Physics, Mathematics, B, B Tech will also be considered for integrated MSc PhD at Bose Institute. BSc Physics, Mathematics, Computer Science, Electronics, B, B Tech will be considered for integrated MSc PhD at Bose Institute. So very important question. A lot of students have already started asking me of, about the upper age limit. So there is no restriction on the age for appearing in JEST examination. However, each participating institute has its own eligibility criteria for details on the eligibility criteria of the participating institutes, candidates are advised to visit their website. So I will show you where are the list of the participating institutes and what are their web websites. Got it? So for majority of the institutes or uh, uh, participating institutes, there is no restriction on age. Now, what is the application procedure? So only in online mode application can be filled. To apply online, applicants must create an account using a valid email ID. So most of you must have a valid email ID. Then this account will remain valid from the time of account creation. So basically the moment you will apply or fill the application, so you will create an account and this account will remain valid from the time of account creation till one month after the date of declaration of results for that year, correct? So after the declaration of result, your account will remain there up to one month. So email IDs are linked to the created account as well as to the application and will be used for all communication with the applicant. So if you are using more than one email ID, so you must make sure if which mail ID you have used for creating your account because all the information will be coming only at that mail ID. So therefore email ID should be active and must not be changed during this period. To submit application online, applicant must log in to the created account and complete the application form. After submission, a unique submission number will be sent to your email ID. So all of you will get a submission number after you submit the application form. So now it is advised to save all the emails sent to you and the unique submission number must be quoted by the applicant for any communication with the JEST 2022 authority. Now, what are the steps for submission of online application form? So these are the following steps which are used for submitting or for submission of the online application form. So first thing is register yourself before you log in. So first thing you have to register. It is assumed that you are already have an email ID. To register the candidate has to click on the create new account link in the home page. You will receive an email with your account information after registering with a valid email ID. Follow the instruction given in the email for resetting your password and further login. Login to the just home page with your username and password. So username will be your email ID and password you have to create. Fill the form and save it or modify an already saved 
form suppose you are filling your form and you think it is not possible to submit it or fill it in one day so you can save it and later on you can resume filling your own form then press the submit application button only when you have inserted and checked all the mandatory entries upload jpg files of your passport size photo and scan signature so only jpg files of the photograph and scan signatures will be accepted and there is a uh, size limit as well which i will show you on the next slide pay the application fee online using sbi epay please check the faq for details of the payment process but generally you can use debit card credit card or online banking for paying the application fee after online submission of the application form and successful e payment of the application fee your submission procedure will be considered complete no modification will be allowed after this correct so there will be no modification allowed so be careful while filling your application form now the requirement of photograph and signature so you should use only jpeg files and the size of Oh, your photograph and the signature should not be more than 100 kilobytes kb and if you think your photograph is photograph size is more than 100, 100 kb so you can use this website for reducing the size of your photograph or your signature so these are two websites which can be used for reducing the size of your photograph then photo signature again the photo signature should not have the size more than 100 KB and it should be also in JPEG form and you can scan it using digital scanner and then save it as JPEG and these are some details okay, what should be the dimension of the photograph but if you take the photograph within the limit of the size this these all will be automatically taken care of. So please check all the properties of these image files before uploading. So main thing is your size of the photograph and your signature should not be more than 100 KB. And you can compress if it is more than 100 KB by using these two websites. Now, what is the application fee? So this is very important. Be careful students. An application fee of rupees 800. Rupees 400 for SCST male applicants and known SCST female applicants. Fine, so 400 rupees is a fee for SCST male and for general and OBC female applicants fee is 400. For general and OBC male candidates fee is 800. Is required to be paid along with the applica application which can be paid online using debit, credit card and net banking. Payment by any other mode will not be accepted. Then application fee is waived for female applicants belonging to SCST category. So the girl students which belongs to SCST category, they are exempted for the fee. And then what they have to fill in the applicant application, they need to complete the payment process by selecting zero value option meant for SCST female applicants. So fee for general and obc female candidates is 400 fee for uh, female candidates belonging to scst is free that is zero fee and fee for general and obc male candidates is rupees 800 so you have to select the correct amount of the fee while filling the application form now after submission of the application form what you will do or what you will get so on successful submission of online application form, you will receive an email with the following information from just website. Number one, application data after final, final submission containing unique submission number and filled in data. On successful completion of payment on SBI ePay, you will receive an email with your order number. Please save this email for further correspondence with the JEST authority. If you do not receive the above mentioned email after submission of application form and the successful e-payment of the application fee, contact JEST authority. So I have already given you the mail ID of the JEST, which is this time IISC Education and Research Kolkata. This is the mail ID if you want to communicate anything. Then 
एडमिट कार्ड हाउ यू गेट द एडमिट कार्ड एडमिट कार्ड विल बी अवेलेबल इन द जस्ट वेब पेज आफ्टर थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ जैन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू सो यू हैव टू वेट टिल थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ जैन ब्रिंग ए प्रिंट आउट ऑफ द डाउनलोडेड एडमिट कार्ड एंड वन ऑफ योर फोटो आई डी फॉर एंट्री इन टू द एग्जामिशन सेंटर एडमिट कार्ड विल नॉट बी सेंट बाई पोस्टल और ई मेल सो दू विल नॉट रिसीव द एडमिट कार्ड ऑन योर मेल आई डी और नॉर थ्रू द पोस्ट it will be uploaded on the just website after 31st of jan so you have to download it and have to take the print out of the same now once again what are the important dates just 2022 examination is scheduled to be held on sunday march 13 2022 registration and online submission is already open now what is the last date last date for a submission of online application and payment of application fees by january 18 2022 now these are some important links to get an account you have to go through this one to apply online you have to visit this link participating institutes are these let me show you the participating institutes and uh, so if you click on to get an account so you will open this page create an account new account so you have to fill your mail id and then you have to create a new account then what is next to apply online you have created your email id or username password then application form will be filled over here this is the format your name father's name mother's name date of birth to be careful while filling your date of birth and your all the information correct so these are the options you have to fill then participating institutes these are the participating institutes so you can go through them but first you have to clear just and later on you can decide where you want to go correct so all these participating institute will consider you once you clear the exam of the just correct so this is the list of the participating institute and what are their specializations so this is already included in this one then what next so these are the exam centers so you can check ahmedabad aligarh alabad and amritsar bangalore so you can go through all the exam centers then this is the syllabus you have basically six topics mathematical methods classical mechanics electromagnetic electromagnetism and optics quantum mechanics thermodynamics and statistical physics electronics and this is all about this just 2022 and what we will offer you besides our classes and uh, our study material so after the end of your classes and study material we will give you three full length online test then we will also give you the previous year paper solution and we will have a live discussion on the doubts pertaining to the above two points so with this i thank you all if there is any question we can take the questions hello hello yes any question uh, good evening uh, this is manish so i am doing the chemistry in applied physics at this moment and okay. uh, the type is that that applied physics is like i am not eligible for all the all the institutes yes okay okay that, that is just my clarification fine any other question sir what about cut off <laughs> cut off uh, is not fixed always it varies depending on the requirement of the institutes correct approximate sir kitna jata hai so for any uh, exam you have seen in ugc net so approximate from 40 to 55 percent. hello yes Sir, people who are in the last semester of MSc can also take this exam, or they have to finish MSc. You can give if you are 
कॉन्फिडेंट कि यू कैन कंप्लीट योर कोर्स बाय अगस्त 2022 यस ओके थैंक यू एंड दिस टेस्ट एग्जाम स्कोर विल बी वैलिड ओनली फॉर वन ईयर सो बी केयरफुल अबाउट इट हेलो यस सर मेरा डाउट था कि आपने एक पेमेंट का ऑप्शन दिखाया था दिखाया था कि उसमें सिर्फ एक ही चीज लिखा है एसबीआई ई पेमेंट तो क्या हम दूसरे किसी बैंक के थ्रू पेमेंट नहीं कर सकते क्या जेस्ट एग्जाम का देखो आप किसी आप अपने क्रेडिट कार्ड से डेबिट कार्ड से और ऑनलाइन बैंकिंग से कर सकते हैं दैट इज ओनली मीडियम थ्रू विच यू कैन पे द रिक्वायर्ड फी सो इट दे हैव दे मस्ट हैव सम टाइप विद दैट एसबीआई ई पे दैट्स इट Okay, this sir. is only a gateway. You don't worry about that one. Hello, sir. Yes. Just certificate one year only valid. Hota. Yes, this is only for one year. And somebody was asking me on my number, if what are the number of attempts? There is no limitation. Any other question? so if there is no more question then we can sir. leave the session yes sir ha uh, sir uh, ye sir describe the region for applying to so, sir aap bata sakte hain isme kya kaise kuch kuch khas point jo hum likh sake isme can you show me the in application form you are saying yes yes sir which num okay just a minute let me check hmm, yes have a look over here now let me share my screen which one you are talking about this is your application form sir in the last sir a reason for applying for just on next page i think yes, sir, will... what should we write there no yes, no nee, nee. is yes, it sir, over yes, here no no sir next page okay i think i think first we have to fill first we have to fill it yes 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 so region is for pursue the career in research uh, sir it, it is obvious but uh, kuch sir specific point agar kuch help ho jaye sir usme likhne mein to kyunki sir 150 words mein bol raha likhne ke liye sir oh then it is statement of purpose yes sir statement of purpose pucha hai yes theek hai so if you have yes, already some plan about your research then you can write it down because for different students yes, sop sir. will be different this is not the same for everyone yes yes sir. correct yes yes sir ha huh. so that will be different for everyone if you have uh, some specific regions or some specific uh, areas where you want to pursue your research and what work you have already done so you can yes, write sir. down over there and why you are interested in that one and how you or what you can give to that research area and what may be your contribution to that research area so you can write down that okay sir thank you sir just ka exam ek bar de sakte hain nahi nahi kitne number bhi bar de sakte hain oh thank you hello yes uh, sir ek last do cheez puchna tha मैं बी स्टूडेंट मैकेनिकल हूँ तो मैं कितने कॉलेजेस के लिए एलिजिबल हूँ बस एक बार बार वापस हाँ मैं वही बता रहा हूँ मैंने जो पार्टिसिपेटिंग लिस्ट के इंस्टीट्यूट दिए हैं तो मैं उनकी वेबसाइट पे जाके चेक करना पड़ेगा बिकॉज मेजोरिटी ऑफ द आवर स्टूडेंट्स आर फ्रॉम द फिजिक्स बैकग्राउंड करेक्ट सो फिजिक्स स्टूडेंट आर एलिजिबल फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूट यू आर बी टेक इन मैकेनिकल यू आर सिंग B B sir B Bachelor in mechanical B. yes yes I yes, know sir. that way so you have to search on the respective institute's website and the second thing sir I need help is uh, uh, there are a number of institute who have uh, their personal or a separate exam especially mm -hmm. for the, those institutes like I U C A so can you provide the uh, details which are going to be upcoming exam from the, those institute And look right now uh, we are over here for the jest 2022 once you will clear it then we will again meet again for the different institutes okay, what are their requirements so this we will discuss after you uh, clear the jest 2022 because without clearing jest they will not entertain you okay sir
ओके सर यस जैसे हम लोगों ने मतलब ग्रेजुएशन किया हुआ है तो अब हम इंटीग्रेटेड पीएचडी के लिए फिल करेंगे ना फॉर्म यस एमएससी हां इंटीग्रेटेड पीएचडी के लिए यस ओके सर थैंक यू सर सर बेसिकली इंटीग्रेटेड पीएचडी कितना साल में कंप्लीट होता है सर जो बीएससी के बाद जो करते हैं बीएससी के बाद तुम मान के चलो विद इन अ स्पैन ऑफ इफ यू आर वेरी ब्रिलियंट स्टूडेंट यू कैन कंप्लीट दैट विद इन 5 इयर्स करेक्ट सर यस सर मैंने पिछले हफ्ते में गेट का एग्जाम एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म फिल अप कर दिया और पेमेंट भी कर दिए और उसमें जो स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पर्पस हमने बोला ना उसमें हम सिर्फ लिखा है कि हम हाई एनर्जी फिजिक्स सर अप्लाइड फिजिक्स के कुछ ब्रांच पे ब्रांचेस में इंटरेस्टेड है और रिसर्च पर्सू करना चाहता है वो डिटेल्स नहीं मैंने डाला है कुछ प्रॉब्लम होगा क्या नहीं नहीं कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगा वंस यू विल क्लियर दैट एंड देन यू विल गो फॉर द interview you can submit your latest sop what an issue okay thank you yes because everyone has to give the sop right now but those who will qualify only their sop will be having some value or they will be meaningful sops correct so you keep updating your sop okay sir लेकिन सर हमने कलकत्ता यूनिवर्सिटी में पढ़ा है अपना ग्रेजुएशन वहां पर बीएससी में कुछ रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट हमको नहीं मिला हमने किया भी नहीं है तो हम कैसे इस पे लिख, लिख सकते हैं लुक इफ यू गो फॉर सम फॉरेन यूनिवर्सिटीज एवरीवन हैज टू राइट एसओपी एंड यू नो दैट इफ यू आर जस्ट एज यू आर सेइंग यू हैव नॉट डन एनी रिसर्च बट यू कैन थिंक अबाउट सम रिसर्च एरियाज वेयर यू कैन कंट्रीब्यूट अ लॉट you can say i am good in it i can contribute so that's it statement of purpose aisa nahi hai if you have done everything then only you will go to that field correct okay sir lekin sir mera ek last sawal hai main kaise ab main samjhunga kaise ki main se mujhe us area mein hi jana hai lekin kyunki humne jo university mein padha hai sir वहां पर कोई रिसर्च का फैसिलिटी था सब उसके बाद को ग्रेजुएशन का सब्जेक्ट ही पढ़ा गया है पढ़ाया गया है हमने मार्क्स को किए है तो हमें रिसर्च में ज्यादा कोई तो कुछ मुझे नॉलेज नहीं है कि हाई एनर्जी क्या होता है या फिर इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन क्या होता है तो मैंने कुछ फॉरेन यूनिवर्सिटी के वेबसाइट में भी चेक किया थे तो उसने मुझे मैंने उन लोगों ने मुझे बोला कि आप एसओपी भेजिए लेकिन मेरे पास तो कोई वजह ही नहीं है मैं भेजू दैट्स वॉट आई आई एम सेंग even if the foreign universities ask a sop because they don't know you they don't know who are you but they will estimate you on the basis of your sop so how you will write a good sop ya to tarika tumne kisi se likhwa liya theek hai that is not a good way you should write your sop on your own and you are saying suppose you don't know about instrumentation and high energy physics so go to the websites of the institutes which are working in these areas or in those areas then try to find out about the technology they are using search it on the websites you will get a lot of stuff on google correct okay sir so you will have an idea because you have the basic uh, knowledge of the subject only you have to apply it in the research so after studying that you can make a plan okay, what you can do or which one Uh, makes you makes you means you feel more attractive towards a particular field definitely there will be something for one of you correct okay sir yes okay sir so most of the student are in the same boat don't worry so um sop writing is a long process and is there any way physics institute can offer it for like this Telling me if an if an SOP is okay or no? Because I myself have I I have an SOP, but I do not know if it is a good SOP or not. Because I do not know. You can check. Test. There are different formats of the SOP on Google. You put a SOP format, you will have so many formats. Correct. Okay. Yes. You will know it whether you have written a good SOP or not. सर क्या अगर कोई जस्ट क्रैक कर दिए पर कोई भी तरह के तरह से अपनी एक इंस्टीट्यूट में पीएचडी में घुसे और उसने तो समझिए आप एस्ट्रोफिजिक्स लिया है अपने स्पेशल 
क्योंकि लेकिन कुछ महीने बाद उन्हें ये समझ आ रही है कि वो उसका वो फेवरेट नहीं है तो क्या चेंज किया जा सकता है क्योंकि मेरी एक सीनियर के साथ ये हुआ है उसने पिछली बार जिस करके एस्ट्रो फिजिक्स में घुसा था लेकिन कुछ महीने बाद फोन करके बोल रहा है कि वो फेल हो सकता है उसका इंटरेस्ट नहीं है लुक द क्वेश्चन यू आर आस्किंग इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट आंसर वेरी डिफिकल्ट करेक्ट बट वेन यू थिंक्स के यू विल डू दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम यू डू दैट एंड देर आर चांसेस ऑफ फेलियर ऑल्सो इफ यू थिंक आफ्टर गेटिंग ए पोजिशन और पी एच डी यू डोंट फील कम्फर्टेबल एंड यू वॉन्ट टू लीव देन डेफिनेटली यू हैव टू गो थ्रू इट अगेन विद इन वन ईयर बिकॉज यू हैव द वेलिडिटी ऑफ जस्ट ऑफ वन ईयर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज इट यू हैव टू अप्लाई अगेन अदरवाइज यू हैव टू गिव द जस्ट अगेन करेक्ट ओके सर क्वेश्चन बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट के साथ हो रहा है लेकिन क्योंकि हमने जो यूनिवर्सिटी में पढ़ा है सर उसमें रिसर्च के लिए कुछ हमें सीखा नहीं है तो हमें कुछ आइडिया ही नहीं है कि एस्ट्रो क्या होता है हाई यू हैव ए इंटीग्रेटेड पीएचडी कोर्स करेक्ट इफ यू वांट टू डिसकंटिन्यू यू कैन लीव बाय टेकिंग योर एमएससी डिग्री इजेंटेड ओके सर यस सो दैट्स व्हाई दे हैव स्टार्टेड इट if you feel you are very much interested you want to pursue in that field and at the same institute you can go ahead otherwise take your msc degree and give it okay. sir yes agar hame phd karni hai astrophysics mein to sir jo jest ka exam hai is it beneficial why not okay because they have accepted it as a national eligibility test i have read those lines ऑर्डर नंबर ऑल्सो ओके सर करेक्ट यस सर ये मार्क्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन जो होते हैं जस्ट के रिजल्ट में जो भी मार्क्स जिस हिसाब से आएंगे उसके अकॉर्डिंग टॉपिक वाइज एडमिशन मिलेगा या फिर इंस्टीट्यूट वाइज एडमिशन मिलेगा मतलब टॉप टू लो नहीं नहीं ऐसा नहीं है कि वेर एवर यू वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई पच्चीस इंस्टीट्यूट में आप अप्लाई कर रहे हैं मान लिया तो कितनी जगह जाएंगे अगर कहीं हो गया तो यू विल फील सेटिस्फाइड कि हाँ ठीक है यू आर डन हर जगह नहीं जा सकते ओके सर तो मार्क्स के बेसिस पे नहीं है इट इज बेस्ड ऑन योर इंटरेस्ट एंड यू फुलफिल देयर क्राइटेरिया सो यू विल बी एलिजिबल सो आफ्टर क्लियरिंग जस्ट इट इज नॉट गिविंग यू गारंटी ऑफ द एडमिशन यू आर एलिजिबल यू हैव टू फेस द इंटरव्यू ओके सर करेक्ट सर इंटरव्यू के बेसिस पे डिसाइड होगा मतलब Uh, अगर मान लीजिए मुझे एस्ट्रोफिजिक्स uh, में करना है आगे एंड yes. इंटरव्यू में उन्हें लगता है कि नहीं मेरे एस्ट्रोफिजिक्स के बजाय कोई दूसरा uh, ज्यादा सही रहेगा तो वो मुझे वही देंगे या फिर एस्ट्रोफिजिक्स का देंगे वो एडमिशन इफ यू क्वालिफाई एंड इफ यू सेटिस्फाई द पीपल हु आर टेकिंग योर इंटरव्यू देन दे डेफिनेटली दे विल टेक यू इन एस्ट्रोफिजिक्स सपोज इन द सेम इंस्टीट्यूट देर आर अदर ग्रुप्स एज वेल एंड दे फील यू विल बी मोस्ट सुटेबल फॉर द अदर फील्ड सो दे विल रिकमेंड यू टू द अदर फील्ड or expert of the other field and then they will may take your interview okay. correct yes okay, so, matlab uh, ek aur interview hoga matlab hmm. okay so thank you sir so systems are very transparent and they don't leave the gems they want to retain them fine yes sir so any other question sir sir ek question puchna tha ki sir jaise agar integrated phd kar rahe hain और सर जैसे बीच में अगर जैसे दो साल एम की कर ली और उसके बाद सर जैसे कि अब्रॉड की किसी यूनिवर्सिटी से अगर सिलेक्शन मतलब हो जाता है तो सर जा सकते हैं मतलब ट्रांसफर yes, कर सकते हैं ट्रांसफर नहीं होगा दैट विल बी फ्रेश एडमिशन यू कैन टेक योर एमएससी डिग्री रीस्टार्ट करना पड़ेगा यस व्हाई नॉट यू हैव जस्ट कंप्लीटेड योर एमएससी ओके सर एवरीथिंग हैज टू बी फ्रेश वन यस फाइन सर इंटरव्यू के लिए सर कुछ अलग से पढ़ना पड़ता है कि सर जो अपन ने थ्योरी में पढ़ा है मतलब वो तो अभी पहले टेस्ट क्लियर करो उसके लिए अलग से हम सेशन लेंगे देन वी विल डिस्कस एक पैनल ऑफ द फैकल्टी विल सिट अच्छा सर ये प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर क्या uh, मतलब कितने हद तक बेनिफिशियल रहेंगे मतलब ये जस्ट के एग्जाम के लिए देखो बेनिफिशियल ऐसे रहेंगे एक तो आपको डिफिकल्टी लेवल पता चल जाएगा एंड यू विल फाइंड योर सेल्फ वेर यू स्टैंड Yes, कितने sir. आप कर सकते हैं करेक्ट ओके सर यस 
because no question will be sir ha yes ha sir main ye id jump pre recorded ka student hu sir jaise ki hum logo ka exam ek mahina baad uske baad just ek mahina baad to wo extra kya preparation karna padega just ke liye extra tumne syllabus dekha kitna similar hai ha sir similar hai lekin bahut kuch extra bhi hai हाँ, एक्स्ट्रा भी है जो भी हम करा रहे हैं सब चीजों को ध्यान में रख के करा रहे हैं वी आर आर सेइंग कि फिल दिस फॉर्म वेल यू यू फिट फॉर दैट आल्सो सो इज कोर्स वी आर डिलीवरिंग दैट इज सफिशिएंट फॉर जस्ट आल्सो करेक्ट ओके सर एनी अदर क्वेश्चन सो इफ देर इज नो मोर क्वेश्चन देन वी कैन complete this session over hand over here and all the best to all of you thank you sir thank you sir okay thank you thank you sir thank you sir